Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this short video, I'm looking at how you can turn a custom post type created with Metabox into a standalone custom plugin. This is the Metabox page in the WordPress plugin directory for the free Metabox plugin. And one thing about the free Metabox plugin is that it's a library of functionality. It doesn't have a user interface. The idea is that these are the core functions that Metabox extensions use. Okay, this is the Metabox website, and these are the extensions. Okay, so all of these extensions require that core library, are built on that core library. Now, the reason I'm mentioning that you have this core and these extensions is because what we're going to do is we're going to turn a custom post type created with the Metabox UI into a standalone plugin. I have here a testing site, and this is the 2023 theme. If we go to the plugins directory, you can see I have the core Metabox library here and the Metabox all-in-one plugin here and the query monitor here. I have this just so we can look and see how much memory is being used on a page. And the all-in-one extension, what it does is it gives us this user interface and access to all of the extensions here. So we can go through and turn on or off the ones that we might need. The ones I have on here now are ones that are kind of comparable to advanced custom fields, but I'm not doing a comparison. This is just what I had set up. And what I've done is I created a post type called member, okay? And then I added to it a field group called team member fields. And we see here are the fields for the team member. And if we go over to the custom post type, we see I've added a bunch of team members. And if we look at one, we see here are all the custom fields for that person. Let's go to the front end and look at the team page. Okay, and we see that it's using 33.7 megabytes, you know, to render this team page. All right, now what I'm gonna do is Let's go back to the Metabox area. Let's go to the post types where we defined our member. You know, you're familiar with this type of user interface. It's similar whether you're using Metabox or ACF. They're the same type of values. Just the way they're laid out is a little different, maybe. So here's where we have the names, the labels, the advanced features, what post type features it supports, and we can assign any taxonomy to it we want to. But way over here, there is a button that says get PHP code. What we see here now is that Metabox gives us all the code we need for the creation of the custom post type. So what we do is we give the function name and we give our text domain. We'll say team register post type, and then our text domain will be my initials. Okay, now I've got my text editor here. And what I've done is I pasted in the header for a plugin. And let's just look at that. You know, you have these fields in the plugin that WordPress parses in the plugin page. So here's the name I put in, members custom post type, my web address for the plugin a description, version, author, author's URI, and the text domain. And so now what I'm going to do is copy that code that we got from Metabox. So I paste that in, and you see here is the code that we got from Metabox. I'm going to turn off the word wrap there. And you notice that in our header, we have the opening PHP tag. Metabox added that in again. We'll get an error if we have two of them. So I'll remove that. We want the PHP tag at the top. Okay, and so there is 
the code for registering our custom post type. Now let's go back to our website and the Metabox user interface. Here now we'll go to where custom fields are defined. And again, just like we had with the post types, there's now this button over here for get PHP code. Okay, so I'll add the same text domain we had before, and then I'll give a function name, add team member fields. Okay, and I'll click the generate button, and now it's generated all the code we need to create the fields that we have in the custom fields for this custom post type. I'll click copy, and now I'll go back to our text editor. Okay, so here I am back at our text editor. I go to the bottom and I paste in the code again. Remember to remove the opening PHP tag that Metabox adds. Okay, and so here's the filter to add the team member fields. And here's the action to register the post type. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to save this. I'll save this to my desktop so I can find it easily. Call it teamcpt.php. And now after I save it, the next thing I need to do is to copy that into the plugins folder for the website. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to go to desktop and I'll copy and now I'm going to go to the folder for the website. And here we see here's the WP Admin folder, the WP Includes folder, and default WordPress files. Let's go to Plugins. Okay, and I'll do Paste Item. So now I've added the Team CPT plugin, you know, a one file plugin to the plugins directory. So now let's go back to our WordPress website. Okay, I'm going to go to Plugins, and here's our Members CPT. Okay, so just to refresh, before we switch, it's 33.8 megabytes of memory being used now. So let's deactivate the Metabox All-in-One. Notice we lost our team CPT, but we'll activate the plugin. Now we just have the Metabox library activated and our new plugin that we just created. So now I've gone back and from 33.8 megabytes, let's refresh. And we've now used 30.7 megabytes. Okay, so. Having the user interface is a big convenience when you're creating your custom post types and adding your custom fields. But because Metabox is so modular and it is developer oriented, it's easy to generate the code and copy it to your own custom plugin. Using your own custom plugin has a couple of benefits. One is, as we've shown, you use a little less memory. The second benefit is you have a plugin that you can add to your source control or that you can easily reuse and drop into another website if you need to create the same kind of custom post type. So anyway, that's the quick look at taking advantage of the modularity of Metabox and creating a plugin for our custom post type. There's a summary of this video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching.